What's the latest on the UI updates coming to Windows 10? Let's dive in. There are two big updates coming to Windows, and it's honestly really easy to get them mixed and confused and crossed and updated. So we have the Windows 10 Sun Valley update, which should be arriving in the, in the spring, being announced, if you will, and then hitting your desktop PC likely in the fall. And then there's also Windows 10 X, which again, potentially I believe is completed and should start showing up here potentially in the first half of 21, uh, 2021. And so these two things get crisp and crossed and it can be a little confusing to keep them separated because I, they're both made by Microsoft. They're both OS updates. For right now, they're both called Windows and they both kind of look like Windows, but they're not really the same thing. So let's just start with Windows 10 Sun Valley, which is probably going to be the thing that most of us see because you're more than likely a Windows enthusiast if you're listening or watching this, that we are most likely going to get experienced with here in the fall. So yesterday, Microsoft released a new build of Windows 10 and it came with some new icons. This is actually build 21327 and you can go grab it now if you're participating in the insider program and you might be thinking icons who cares about it well icons are the foundation of windows right you click on an icon to launch an application and this starts to show off some of the design language that we are likely going to be seeing here in sun valley and there you go i mean these are the icons that microsoft is going to start rolling out and experimenting with it they might evolve but i can guarantee you icons go through just a number of review stages and this is what microsoft Microsoft has landed on. Now, they also showed off some other updates to give us a more visual appeal about what is happening. So Microsoft has this widget on the bar, on your taskbar, I should say, that allows you to access news and weather and all that stuff. And you can see here, Microsoft released an update to that experience, which again, has not come out yet, but it should be coming out in the fall um, with this news and weather widget and widgets might be making a comeback. We'll find out. But anyways, you can see the design changes here and the evolution of how Microsoft is approaching this. They're tossing a bit of splash of color and i'm assuming here that they are pulling the colors potentially from the dominant color in the actual background image that is behind the text it makes it look a little bit more modern a little bit more fluenty just kind of it's following some modern uh web design trends and so this is an update that microsoft is honestly showing off and you can grab it right now a couple things to note that Microsoft is using rounded corners here. Now, it's not completely all rounded corners. You can see the window there uh, that the actual news is contained within is not a rounded corner. But again, uh, that is sort of the older design language mixed with some of the new stuff. And you can see the evolution of how things are changing. Now, we have some other things to be looking at here. And this image comes from uh, Zach Bowden on Twitter. You can find Zach. Uh, he's a great person to follow about Windows stuff. And so he tweeted out this image. And I believe this potentially is a mock-up. But you can look here and see Microsoft is moving to a floated window design and again look at the corners corners are rounded microsoft is making a big deal about rounded corners um, at least in some of their internal stuff and so you can begin to see here a floating window experience that i believe is going to be part of sun valley that is going to help just modernize and refresh it a little bit we see this on chrome os quite a bit honestly and i believe apple does it to some extent as well but i personally think it looks good i think it's a, a pretty minimal update but it makes it feel fresh and makes it feel modern and then here is another image again from Zach uh, showing the flyout or the, the jump list I should say again showing off the floated window design with the rounded corners and I think it looks good I think it looks modern I think it it helps I think it makes it you know kind of updates Windows 10 in the right way not some dramatic overhaul that is going to completely change everything we know and love about Windows but these are good updates at the end of the day now what about Windows 10x I, I actually included some Windows 10x images here just to help you understand the difference this is Windows 10x now Windows 10x is sort of a complete I don't want to say rebuild of windows but it's a much more elementary look at windows right as of right now it's pretty much either full screen apps or in some cases snapped apps but you're running full screen experience they're bringing that start menu and that's what you're looking at here is the windows 10x start menu at least as the last uh, leaked released uh, indicated of what Windows 10 X is going to look like. So that is a completely different start menu look and feel than say what we see over with Windows 10 Sun Valley. Kind of keep in mind Sun Valley is the proper full version of Windows and then Windows 10 X is this sort of, uh, watered down is probably the wrong word to say. And here's just another showing example of some of the flyouts. 
uh, that are on Windows 10X. But if you notice, the rounded corners and the Windows 10X experience kind of has the same look and feel as some Sun Valley components if you look at it in comparison to some of the flyouts that we see um, utilized here with the widget. So not a perfect comparison, if you will, but it does, you, you, can, you can see the similarities, but at the end of the day, it's not quite the same thing. And so the big differences between Sun Valley and say 10X are definitely under the hood because Sun Valley, like I said a million times already, is that it's the proper Windows 10. Windows 10X will allow you to run just only limited number of applications, primarily from a web uh, app perspective. And it's a much more, you know, run one app, one, two app. Think of this as the Chrome OS uh, update, if you will. So nothing major Microsoft has announced yet. They are expected to have an event here uh, fairly soon. We don't know the exact date yet, but they're expected to have an event where I believe they're going to be talking about Sun Valley and Windows 10 x and just having a windows extravaganza which is good because for the past couple years i mean for people who are diehard windows fans it feels like microsoft has just kind of i don't want to say moved away but there was at one point they lost like visibility because they were off the senior leadership team then they split up windows and windows just kind of fluttered around and, and there wasn't really any vision or aspiration despite the fact that it brings in billions of dollars every single quarter for Microsoft. I think at one point there was this feeling that like, hey, Windows is just what it is. We're just going to ride it out. And that's the thing. But now there's been some like rejuvenation inside the company to bring back some love and bring back some at least at least make it feel like Microsoft cares. Um, and they have introduced features over the years like my people and the Windows timeline stuff, but none of it's really made that much of a difference. But we all like UI updates and polish. And so that is what it looks like Microsoft is heading towards at least with these updates. And I, I realistically hope that we also get clarity too on the update situation as well for proper Windows. Right now, Microsoft is still technically saying, hey, we do two big updates a year, but now the spring update is more of just not really an update at all. Um, at, at least in the big capacity, because it if you're on a newer version of Windows 10, it installs just like a patch Tuesday sort of thing. Um, so that doesn't quite feel like a big update. It feels much more like Microsoft is finally going to one major update in the fall. Uh, and, the, and the spring update that they had been using is really just a bug and patch and fix uh, release, which is perfectly fine. No major issues with that. I think that's what we've all been waiting for. But as we look through, you know, reading the tea leaves of what Microsoft is quite literally shown us here with these two images, with the, the icons here, and then the updated uh, widget experience that is coming uh, to Windows 10. And then you take a look at what, and I have seen very similar things um, from builds inside of, of Microsoft of what they're working on. This is exactly what they have been uh, playing around with here and you can begin to see that hey like things are finally changing and hopefully for the better and hopefully that's going to drive some enthusiasm back into the world of windows the windows insider program brought a lot of uh, conversation to it when it first announced but i think it's fair to say that the windows insider program ha has matured and it's just sort of stable but it's not it's not driving the excitement into Windows like it once was when it was first announced. No big surprise there. I mean, the, it's been around for quite a while now. But these new updates and everything that's coming down the pipeline, they might just bring that fire back. And hopefully that will excite people about Windows again. And so as we learn more, keep it subscribed here because the only BS on this channel is me.